Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Naruto to explain here, bringing you guys another board to Naruto Next Generation discussion on the fallout from board to chapter 80. And today I want to take things in another direction, focusing on a request from one of my patrons to discuss why Himawari is a character we need to be paying a lot closer attention to as we move into Boruto's time skip. And their request was to specifically look at why Himawari is the wild card from a narrative perspective. So if you've been a supporter of the channel for long enough, you know that I've taken the stance that Himawari is about to go from hesitating about becoming a ninja and obviously leaning towards becoming one to now that she is supposedly an orphan she is going to become a ninja to avenge her parents who she believe aren't actually dead now. I've gone as far as saying that coming out of the time skip Himawari needs to be one of the first people who Boruto encounters because it would be something that has the most investment and serve as a better plot twist of subverting our expectations coming out of the time skip. However since my patron has asked for a deeper dive let's look at why we should be paying a lot closer attention to Himawari as we go into the time skip so jumping right into it I think we can agree that Himawari is being set up for something special coming out of the time skip because she's a massive Chekhov's gun waiting to go off we went from her being introduced as a character with a legendary gag moment where she one shot Hokage Naruto with a palm strike and shut down all this chakra points with one hit to learning in the recent chapters that Himawari isn't just a gag power but in Instead, she has a potential inside of her that made Damon, the person who is currently the strongest character in the series who's alive. Damon sensed a power inside of her and immediately thought to himself, I fought a lot of people so far, including Code who got his limiters removed, but this little girl is the one person who gets me the most excited. Enough, he was about to hit her with a punch right to the face before Boruto stepped in, telling him, hey, my sister, she's not a shinobi and she shouldn't be treated as such, to which Damon said, that makes absolutely no sense because Himawari should be able to avoid the attack and he said he sensed enormous power inside of her. That was our first sign that Himawari was going to be set up for something bigger than herself and I think we're going to continue along that path now that Himawari is about to learn that her parents were killed and that bore to the person she believes is her adopted brother was the one who actually did it. I know there are a lot of people who are hoping that Himawari is immune to the effects of the Shinjutsu because it just feels so cruel to have a situation where the little sister of Boruto, who Boruto has been super protective of, ended up being one of the people affected by the Shinjutsu, but personally, I hope that that isn't the case. I hope that she's actually affected by the Shinjutsu. It becomes a really great Weltsmirt situation where we as readers begin to bargain against the story, saying that things like this shouldn't happen, it shouldn't be like this, it should be this way, and etc. Himawari shouldn't be affected, and that Boruto shouldn't be in a position where one of the people he holds the dearest to him, and the last member of his nuclear family, who hasn't been sealed away is actually hunting him down now but honestly the foreshadowing is there before kawaki did what he did himawari had told her mother hinata that she was leaning towards becoming a shinobi because she wanted to be able to protect boruto and to help boruto but she also said she wanted to know if she was doing something that would actually make hinata worry even more which led to that moment of excitement from a lot of fans about the future of himawari which a few months later we got that line from damon and we see her return home to see a broken photo on the ground and the signs of what looked like to be a bit of a struggle. I think that poetic moment is one where we have to take a look at and say this is something that needs to be done and it needed to be done simply for the fact that it does go back to something that we were told at the start of Boruto part one. Naruto told Sasuke that Boruto is a lot like Sasuke and more like Sasuke than he is Naruto to the point that Sasuke as he spent time with Boruto he saw what Naruto meant as well as the fact that Boruto doesn't truly know what it means to be a shinobi but Sasuke also saw a lot of Naruto's qualities in Boruto. Now that the roles have been reversed, we have a chance to see a sneaky parallel to something of Sasuke's story that Boruto's about to experience, which is important to keep in mind because while so much of the focus is on Boruto learning what it's like for Naruto when Naruto grew up with everyone hating him and seeing the real reason Hinata looked so hurt when Boruto said he wished that he could have been like Naruto and didn't have a father who was around if he was going to be the Hokage, while that is huge for us to take a look at. We also have to look at the Sasuke connection here. Boruto was said to be a lot like Sasuke, but now everything's reversed. He isn't walking the path that Sasuke did. Instead, he's walking Itachi's path, which is exactly where it should be. Itachi was the older sibling publicly blamed for a situation that the general public had no idea about the truth and the complexity of the situation. Itachi was known as a clan killer, one of the highest dishonors you can have. 
someone who betrayed the village by wiping out village royalty by killing off one of the four noble clans of the village and the co-founding clan of the village, the Uchiha clan. Sasuke was a younger sibling who was wrapped up in the emotions over perceived act of betrayal and found himself training to get revenge only to learn that the truth wasn't exactly what he thought and due to being so driven by his emotions he forgot the key thing about being a ninja which is to see through deception and see the hidden truths which is partly why he was so spun around so hard when he learned the truth about Itachi. Boruto is now the older sibling who is accused of one of the greatest crimes and betrayals killing the whole Kage and his wife and betraying the people who took him in when he was an outcast and had nothing to his name. The very same person who shared meals with the Hokage's family turned on them in the guise of so many people. Like Hitachi, the general public, outside of a select few, they don't know the truth about Boruto. Himawari is just like Sasuke, a younger sibling who doesn't realize the hate and the emotions she's feeling for her older siblings are directed at the wrong person and she's ignorant to the truth. I think that offers a really good parallel and for Boruto, it's something that is needed for him because he wants to be the shadow hokage he needs to learn what it means to be in a position where you know you're acting in the best interest of the village but the village itself doesn't realize the truth i think that's why sasuke was written as telling boruto that it should have been him who killed boruto and not Kawaki. Not because Boruto's his student. That's surface level, but he said it himself. There are those who don't trust Kawaki as it is, and Sasuke should be the one to shoulder that burden and shoulder that hatred. Boruto now has to shoulder the burden of being hated by Himawari and having to find a way to make her see the truth at some point. But right now, there's a good chance Himawari not only becomes a ninja, but she becomes a ninja of immense power because she's now been given something to give her focus. Look at what we've seen so far. She's taken the idea of being a ninja lightly. She wasn't even trying, but she was light years ahead of her classmates in the academy in terms of natural talent when you look at the anime. And it was made clear as early as the academy trials where we learned the other two kids that were taking that test with her had trained their whole lives for this moment, but Himawari was doing quite a few things like it was just a game just off a of natural talent and not truly focusing. In the anime, she was shown wet behind the ears with her Byakugan fighting off an older Ganon who was skilled enough to use a change in chakra nature, which has a tuning level strength. And Himawari was able to win a round against him and she only lost that fight because she lowered her guard because Himawari doesn't know how to bring that dog out of herself yet. We had a change here. Himawari has every incentive to bring out that power because she now has a clear motive to do so. Himawari being given a benchmark and having the narrative established as a hidden power deep inside of her makes her a surprise sleeper for the time skip because it should not shock anyone that she learned to master that power or better control it because with battle shown in when a character has a clear goal in mind and they have years to train, they end up reaching or getting dangerously close to that bar that they set for themselves I think that's where we're at right now with Himawari. When you factor in Kawaki isn't going to pull punches with her training the way that someone like Boruto would, the moment that she has Kawaki to spar with her, he won't be worried about hurting her like Boruto was in the anime where he had a vision of Himawari seriously harmed or dead because he had lost control of his karma and so it gave him a bit of PTSD. Kawaki is likely to bust out those Ninja Tech blades and those chakra blasts and just use the karma because being brought up by Jigen, it was reinforced to him that combat training and iron sharpening iron was the way to go. Nothing more, nothing less. And before someone comments, well, wouldn't Himawari know something's wrong that her brother is now a cyborg and he's got the wrong horn and etc it goes back to what sasuke said about the shinjutsu there's a force within himself that is actively trying to make him ignore the things that he knows are wrong and to just go along with it and as more time passes by the more that sasuke finds himself wanting to accept the things that he knows should be wrong himawari won't be any different now Let's take this a step further though. Himawari might even get thrown to Damon for sparring, fighting two people such as that who have no problems with the idea that equal rights get equal lefts. Either you learn to dodge or you get a black eye and a broken nose. Himawari stocks, they got nowhere else to go but up. It would also make that scene from the manga one shot the day that Naruto became Hokage, something we look back on because 
It shows Boruto went from being scared of Himawari for a gag reason to having a genuine reason to be wary of her because she has no attachment towards him now and she would have had years to master a Byakugan and any hidden power that Damon says she has. I know this is the unpopular opinion. I know there are a lot of people who just want to have Boruto have a happy ending, but I still hope we see Boruto suffer. I hope we see him suffer a lot, and I hope Himawari is one of the people that he comes face to face with. I think my patron is right in their parallel to this being a similar thing to Itachi and Sasuke. Only Boruto might end up being the one doing the most Itachi thing that Itachi didn't do, which is show that this new generation is actually breaking the cycle. Boruto might actually trust Himawari with the truth and trust in her to find a way to suppress the Shinjutsu, the opposite of what Itachi initially did with Sasuke. And it would be fitting if she found a way to suppress the effects of the Shinjutsu the same way Sasuke did, where Sasuke chose to believe in his daughter. It would be interesting if Himawari is able to do the same thing with Boruto because the bonds between siblings are something that is special. That being said, I'm so curious to know how you guys feel about this. Well, you think that over, click here to watch my latest Black Clover chapter review over on Kryptonian saying.